All right, let's find out about the missing knight then. Can I talk to Francis about it about again? About that knight. He was carrying an important document for my master. You have to find it. So Francis is not a monk, it seems, but rather working uh, for some noble, right? The knight doesn't seem to be around here. Oh, can I go up here, maybe? No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. Okay. Let's talk to the young'uns here. Mm. Also, I still have to find someone uh, that has need of a hot stone. The knight doesn't seem to be around here. Chapter house. Brother Andrew, have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? Aside from the ones that visited for Christmas? No. Hmm. If there had been an official guest, I would know. And no one stayed at our guest house. Well then. Maybe Arneldus knows something. I'm not gonna talk to Rumi just yet. I wanna exhaust my other options first if I can. Because Rumi just seems kinda fishy. Say, has there been a knight to Kingsbridge? A knight? A knight? Yes. Yes. Right here? Right here? Uh, do you know who he was? How did he die? Brother Paul found him. Where is Paul? Down at the bridge. Freezing hmm. his walnuts off, I reckon. He talked to him. I only put him in the ground. Oh, wow. That's kind of fishy. So... That's all I ever do. Do you have any idea what the knight was doing here? Probably tried to jump off the end of the world. W what do you mean? There is nothing here. Kingsbridge lies at the end of the road. Nobody comes here. So a knight comes here on official business, then vanishes, and not many people know about it, except for the kinda mad... Uh, what's he doing? Brother Ronaldus here? Uh, he got put into the ground, kinda secretively. Also, the prior just died in what was apparently a suicide a couple of days ago, but his body was never found. Something's going on. The knight doesn't seem to be around here. Uh, especially with th this larger looming conflict we have um, at the back of our heads here. Um, this is actually a very interesting time. I know quite about a bit about this uh, historically. Uh, 1136 is just 60 years after 1066, right? And 1066 was the Norman invasion of England, um, which basically means that England ceased being independent, so to speak, and was invaded by William the Conqueror, who was a Norman baron, duke, some kind of noble. Uh, and there was some conflict about inheritance between him and um, some English royalty. Anyway, um, in the end there was a war and William the Conqueror won. Uh, at the famous Battle of ha Hastings he killed um, a famous uh, British general whose name eludes me right now. Mm. And then um, basically took over England and for a couple hundred years England was ruled by Norman nobles. French became the language of the nobility, stuff like that, right? Uh, so William the Conqueror has been dead for a while now. It's been 60 years since the Norman invasion. And apparently uh, there are still ripples, reperc repercussions from this uh, conflict. Um, 
because, yeah, as we've read here, um, Normandy is a region in modern-day France, of course, and they uh, basically rule England now. But Normandy is in conflict with another region in modern-day France, which is called Anjou. And Anjou um, married into the family uh, that has the current claim to the throne. So there's bound to be some some interesting developments there. Um, we'll see. Uh, let's talk to the guys in the kitchen briefly and then go to the bridge. Or have a look at the mill. Like, that would only cool the stone down. <laughs> uh, can I unlock the mill door maybe with these, these keys? Oh! Uh, yet another secret. Nice, that's an achievement. Dusty cloth. Nothing special about it. Can I take it? Carvings. Words carved in wood. A farewell message. Hmm. Found in January 1136. Brothers, I have to leave. I have not found God to be here with you. The cane of Sapria Remigius shall never again hit my back. Never again. Maybe I shall find God elsewhere. Thomas, September 1134. Um, it's like one year and a couple of months ago. So someone was upset with Remigius, it seems. Who seems quite happy to use corporal punishment. Probably beyond repair. How much work to build? How much neglect to let it fall apart? Anything else? He lost his faith in the Priory. But I hope not his faith in God. To repair this, it will need more than my faith. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, past the bridge was here, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm, we've looked at all of this. So where's Paul? Aha, uh -huh, brother Paul. There we go. Freezing. Aha. Uh -huh. Tries not to let it show. Too cold for someone his age. Let's give him the stone. Here, Paul. Here, Paul. Oh. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> A hot stone! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Okay. Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. Hmm. People don't seem to really like Remigius, at least the sympathetic ones, huh? Are you studying the Bible, Brother Paul? Me? No. I always lose the words when I try to read. But I listen carefully to what James and Remedius tell us. This hot stone is a blessing, Philip. What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chillblain. It will ease when the spring comes. And the hot stone really helps, Philip. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter for lack of food or shelter. 
Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And Ooh. those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remigius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. I like Philip inserting radical politics into this. All right. Mm, sure. What did you say again about Remigius's weakness? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. It's not fitting for a subprime. Yeah, we've heard that before. All right. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Yes. He was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? <sighs> he died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him while he died. Did the knight have anything with him? Uh, there was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. He James cannot. He insisted that all his books and documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here, Philip. Maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. He said he likes that. For I know the plans I right. have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Have faith in the Lord, Brother Paul. You did well. Thank you, Philip. Francis's knight had a letter with him. It's probably in the prior's room. Prevent documents from being burnt. Anything else? Still walking around in the cold? Oh, does he have something else to say? It's not grayed have out. Have heard about a knight? A knight? Yes. He was just lying by the... Yeah, we've heard that before. Right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, he liked that. Let's do that again. Then leave. And... Supposedly see Philip. Oh, we could... Pay us a small visit to the brothers in the kitchen, I suppose. Uh... Prior James had a document I would like to see. It's probably amongst the things that Remigius is going to burn. Oh no. Oh no. He's in the Prior's room. Maybe you can talk him out of it. I'm looking for a document that was given to Prior James. It's probably in the Prior's room then. Briefly report back to our brother here. Maybe he has some new tidbit or piece of trivia that can help me convince Remigius. The letter is probably in the prior's room, but the sub prior is going to burn all of James's documents. What? We cannot allow that to happen, do you hear? Of course not. I am looking for a document that was in the possession of Prior James. How does that relate to my tasks? 
Talk to Remedius. Sure. I was just trying to find find out some details or something. Um. Oh no. So lastly, is not around here. Uh. Rather Remedius might. Okay. I feel like saving might be a good idea. Hello. Oh, you again. Mm. I would like to take a look at Prior James's documents. And why is that, Brother Philip? Well, our little cell has given much to the Mother House. Mm. I would like to ensure that all is accounted for. So you do not trust us, Philip. Is that it? The yes. state of this priory. The state of this priory is the concern of the Prior of Kingsbridge. I still would like to see the Prior's documents. They will be burned. <clears throat> I heard about that. It was Prior James's last wish. I'm following his request. But the new Prior will be lost without the ledgers and contracts. After the election, I'll be the new Prior. For now, you are not. Only the chapter meeting can decide on these matters. Of course. Brother Andrew will surely understand why you would go against James's last request. <laughs> Was it James's last request, though, or is that just what Remedius says? Because he wants to cover something up. Uh, some dark misdeed on his part. That's uh, chronicled somewhere in the documents. The sacrist must organize a chapter meeting to save prior James's documents. Hmm. About the chapter meeting. Oh, talk to Brother Andrew. He will be just as pleased as me to have you around. Now leave. Okay. Hmm. Probably dug grave for James. James's grave is empty. How many empty graves are there? It's him, Francis's knight. Paul, found, Paul found him and his letter. His message outlived him. May his soul rest in peace. I should talk to Andrew Sacrist instead. It's the only way. Oh, wrong. <sighs> yes, Philip. We can't allow Prior James's books to be burned. That, Philip, was Prior James's wish. This priory is in debt. And without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. Always. Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5. You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the brothers in a chapter meeting today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? I feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. They're already behind schedule. 
In order to save Prior James's documents, all brothers need to attend the meeting. We can make that happen. The choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? No. If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, oh. do it now. So this is supposedly the end of the chapter or something, right? Time. I'm not ready yet. Let me know when you are. We must begin before nightfall. Okay. So let's talk to a couple of people then. Um, how about these guys? There will be a chapter meeting in a few minutes. Oh yes, we will be there. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> I could not tell Philip. That'd be kind of hilarious. Brother Arnaldus. There's a chapter meeting today. Today, I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. This will not help to get a... A waste of time. Really? A waste of time. Waste of time. I thought everyone needs to be there. Let's talk to Philip. If we can. Uh, Remigius, I mean. I asked not. Uh, I can't. So I suppose he'll be there, anyways. Uh, also, I shall not forget Brother Paul, who's out in the cold by the bridge. Cloister and the guys in the kitchen, of course. There will be a chapter meeting today. You convinced Andrew? Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. There will be a chapter meeting today. Excellent. I can't wait to see you and Remigius quarrel. Brother Cuthbert? Do not worry. We are on your side. <laughs> good, good. Being nice to people. Um, securing support. That's how I like it. Can I get my pony to come? Also, can I just use this for fast traveling now? I don't know, bridge? No, I don't think so. Hmm. The monks of Kingsbridge and their servants. I wonder which of them led a more pious... Right. That would be all then, I suppose, right? There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah, thank you for letting me know, Philip. Remember my advice about Remigius. Is he Irish? That sounded a bit Irish, almost. Okay. Nope. to the village gate mm. oh maybe I should talk to my brother and the choir the 
The sacrist agreed to a meeting today. That way I might be able to get the letter you were looking for. Good thinking, Philip. I will attend, of course. Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Yes, please go ahead. We will be there in a few minutes. Okay. So I think that's everyone. Oh, full house. Invite everybody to, to the chapter meeting. Yeah. Nice that we got that little confirmation. The chapter meeting, if there are... Mm, right, let's do it. The chapter meeting is more important. <clears throat> that looks cool. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. No, we I won't question knew him. This was so the, did that won't go over him. well. I knew him well, and I know he would agree with me. Philip, you are going too far. I will tell brothers on the fire. Brother, Let's hear what he has to say. Let Philip speak. Oh, heavens. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. Here he is. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me. Is walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. That might he not knows have been good. Not what he is saying. No. Philip was very hesitant to talk about the state of this priory with me. Usually, he is as careful in his words as he is in his actions. Yes, Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? Thanks for that, Milius. God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. If the Lord tested James, then he is testing all of us. I trust the Lord, so did James, and so should all of you. He was misguided when he walked onto the ice that night as he was misguided in his last wish. Whatever or whoever misguided him. Maybe it wasn't the devil. We've never seen him. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. <laughs> Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes. Yes. He brought me a hot stone. That's right. That's how Philip... Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? Oh! You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? Do we unveil it? We deserve the truth. What are your true intentions? We cannot lie here. My brother is... Ooh. 
Yes, I reminded my brother that Kingsbridge can use help. Look around you. This priory is in a sorry state. Please vote to save the prior's documents from the fire. It's the only way to help this priory. So he cut me I off. say we leave the Fair decision enough. not up to a vote, but to Remedius. That is against the rules. Is it? He will be our new prior in a few days. Cuthbert declined, do you not remember? I remember well. And I say no one in Kingsbridge is better suited for prior than Remedius. <clears throat> well, thank you, brother. Unfortunately not. No, that's true. Here, here. I wonder why Cuthbert declined. Surely not. This that is kind of tense. There is someone not from our priory. Someone better suited. Oh? I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, I, I disagree knew it. with that. That's well, yes, why obviously. you're here. Yeah, Excellent choice. choice. No. I, I what about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Try idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remedius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Hmm. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. Yeah. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Francis's Notes, Rivalry for the Throne, Part 2. Um, dated 1st of January, 1136. Our new King Stephen is supported by most of our Norman overlords and even by the Church. His younger brother Henry is Bishop of Winchester and one of the most important priests in all of England. He made Henry... Uh, he made Stephen swear an oath to reserve power to the Church which had little influence on political affairs under King Henry, a good day for the church and for us. The trouble is that my lord Earl Robert of Gloucester is one of the king's bastards. He wants to see his half-sister Maud on the throne, believing she would heavily rely on his guidance and advice during her reign. In the name of Empress Maud, he and his allies have formed a rebellion against King Stephen. Not long now and there will be a war. Why is it Empress Maud and King Stephen? Why is it not Queen Maud? Now, let us look for the letter. Priceless collection of wisdom. We saved it from the fire. Historical, secular, and religious texts. Did you find it? I'm afraid not. Mm. Tome, a Bible. What a mess. Disgraceful. Oh, Francis. Is that it? I think I found it. That was easy. In the Bible? Revelations. The Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Should we? Okay. Letter inspect. 
Letter dated December 18th, 1135, so that's like two weeks ago. Robert of Gloucester, name the day and will be ready to shed blood in the name of Empress Maud. So Robert of Gloucester wants Maud on the throne, because then he thinks he'll have a lot of influence, right? I and my bondsmen will ride against Stephen of Blois. We do not start the war, but we shall unleash it. Stephen himself started it, the day he betrayed King Henry's daughter and took her throne. He and those who swore loyalty to him. Bartholomew, Earl of Shiring. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Yes. Why me? Because you have to. There's no other way. Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You want the bishop to help the new king, King Stephen? I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. Hmm. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Sure. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? Oh, we did it. Man of politics. Right. Chapter 1, Philip. What you did. You helped Francis to uncover a conspiracy against the king. You were nominated to become prior of Kingsbridge. You agreed to meet the bishop. You reported Mark, brother Marcus, the thief. You gave brother Paul a hot stone and soothed his pain. Remigius still holds you in contempt. I don't think I could have done anything to uh, undo that, right? You found a message in the mill. You found beech nuts for Milius's garden. All right, that'll be that for this episode. See you in the next. Goodbye.